Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator, and in this video, we're going to talk about something um, you, you don't really hear a lot, which is um, an ABC News investigation. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know um, the propaganda outlets did investigations these days, but um, they, they say that they offer a rare glimpse into the plastic waste trade. So, right here, uh, plastic bags from Walmart, U.S. recycling bins tracked to controversial plastic facilities in Southeast Asia. And this is uh, April 23rd, 2024. Today's the 24th. This get loaded up on the 25th. But uh, the thing is, is that... ABC put trackers <laughs> inside of some bags that they dropped off at Walmart recycling bins. And then those trackers um, ended up in Southeast Asia. They did three of them. And um, the people in Southeast Asia, <laughs> we want to let the people who send their waste to Malaysia know that we need your help. Okay, your waste is harmful and threatens the health of my family, my children, and also destroys the future of my people, my generation. And this is from uh, a Pew Lei Peng, who lives on the front line of the global plastic pollution crisis. Uh, her hometown in G-E-N-J-A-R-O-M, Malaysia has been transformed uh, in recent years by thousands of tons of imported plastic waste from the U.S. and other wealthy nations. As a result, the once quiet agricultural town she grew up in is now surrounded by dump sites and smokestacks from plastic factories she says pose dire health risks to, for her and loved ones. And, and the environment, you know, um, they, they say that that you know the water r runs f from the plants you know of course th this isn't really a surprise um right here the the water runs directly into the the, the water being discharged from the recycling whatever they're doing in their plants goes directly out into the rivers you know and, and then the people say that they can't fish out there and um yeah, they say that the um, facility's pollution has devastated the river that fishermen like him once depended on for their livelihood. They say um, it's sad because the life in the water died and we are now afraid to eat fish that used to be delicious. We are afraid that we may hurt our kids by eating it. Right, they said the river is broken. Indeed, there is nothing left here. So, yeah, it, <laughs> ABC News put these trackers in, and um, uh, the first tracker, uh, ABC News. The first ABC News plastic bag tracker to travel overseas was dropped into a plastic bag recycling bin at a Walmart in Kingston, New York. It later pinged at a recycling facility in New Jersey known to export plastic waste abroad. The tracker then went dark for nearly three months until it finally pinged more than 9,000 miles away directly outside three affiliated plastic facilities in Batam, B-A-T-A-M, Indonesia. After that, it was never heard from again. <laughs> so, yeah, these, these are going across the world. Okay, so we're transporting them from Walmart to however many stages of transportation, you know, they have to they get to barges that send them across the oceans so that our plastic waste gets recycled, <laughs> recycled somewhere else. So I'm not sure what these recycling facilities produce. They didn't really say. <laughs> not sure it produces anything. But um, 
They say the plastic facilities near the location of the ABC's news plastic bag trackers last pings have been the subject of numerous controversies, according to the local media. Um, as of 2020, two of the facilities were reportedly under investigation by Indonesian authorities for illegally dumping plastic-laden wastewater into the drainage ditches directly behind them. More recently, the facilities have been the subject of numerous reports regarding allegedly unsafe and exploitive labor conditions. And then ABC uh, visited where the dumping, alleged dumping, had occurred and found shredded plastic there coating countless leaves and blades of grass. It says two other plastic bag trackers deployed by ABC News last pinged from Malaysia, which had been among the top destinations for export, exported plastic waste ever since China banned the material in 2018. They said a, a lot of recyclers from uh, China came here and um, they, they found Malaysia is a safe haven to run this illegal factory said that Pew Lane Peng. So she, she's calling it illegal. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, that doesn't look very nice, okay? That's why it's getting sent overseas. Uh, you know, Americans, wealthy nations don't want that outside their door. But um, the, the interesting thing is the solution, <laughs> okay? Uh, Edith and Nick, E-N-C-K, of Beyond Plastics, told ABC News, li listen to this, we need the cooperation of commercial shipping companies because they can turn off the tap to these plastic exports. <laughs> Her group was amongst a chorus of environmental organizations that put out a call in 2021 for shipping companies to ban plastic waste exports. Okay, so we have, um, you know, the people running the Beyond Plastics movement thinking that the solution is to ban shipping containers from moving the waste from wealthy nations to, you know, Southeast Asia poor nations. <laughs> okay, now, nothing about the, the, all the transportation those plastic bags went through on land before they got to the water where they want the barges, you know, to be prevented from um, getting in on the action, basically, right? Everybody else is in on it. But, of course, you know, the interesting thing is that that's not the solution. The solution, of course, would be to end our disposable society and the use of all of these plastic bags. <laughs> I mean, right there, that's the solution. But this is why we have environmental problems, because there's a gazillion environmental workers out there, and all of them absolutely uh, just, just truly uh, have no concept. And th they just know how to play within the game. Like, oh, my God, like, okay, so, well, well, if we don't ship them aboard, what are we going to do? Well, well, uh, well, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't know what we would do, but, but at least they're not being shipped abroad. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. A and this, this is why we don't have solutions, because no one will allow solutions, and everybody allows just idiots to, to be out there with ridiculous solutions. You know what? If we just simply weren't making and using these plastic bags, they wouldn't be getting exported. Along with, you know, the, these places recycle other plastics too, okay? But um, again, what what's the solution for that? Oh, that's right. Ending our disposable society. How about ending, you know, plastics? Just hemp can be used for anything. Everything. And, and Everything that's plastic can be made from hemp. We wouldn't even be having this problem if we want real solutions. But but this is <laughs> this is what ABC News is promoting from the experts <laughs> that they're bringing on. Okay, <laughs> so so it's just ridiculous. But but ABC just did this investigation. <laughs> I mean, so I I mean this is kind of you know I interesting. But, I, I mean, with all the things that could be being investigated in the world right now, and this is what <laughs> they're calling an investigation, um, I, I mean, I think everybody knows that these things get shipped off ashore, um, 
<laughs> you know, I don't really think we knew this, needed this, but but uh, this is what uh, ABC uh, propaganda outlets is uh, is doing, investigating, and then giving you absolute ridiculous solutions. So, I, I mean, the people in Southeast Asia, they don't deserve this. They, you know, they're nice people. They just want to live in their little villages. They just want their lives. They want the, they want their clean little towns where their kids can go play in the river and they can fish out of it. You know, doesn't everybody? So, this is what's going on with plastic recycling that we wouldn't even be doing if anybody allowed solutions. So, stay tuned, people.